All right, welcome back to the EQC Studios and welcome back to the Top Step. And by the way, welcome to Seattle. We have got on the San Juan Seltzer this week, rookie Troy Taylor. Troy, how you doing, mate? Good, how are you? I appreciate you having me on. Oh, no, dude, I appreciate you coming on, man. You uh, you had one of those memorable debuts. It's always kind of like 50-50, right? So, like, I had a pretty good debut. I got lucky. Um, we were getting smashed in the game, but I got to strike out. You know, legend coming back to Seattle, Ken Griffey Jr. That was the first hitter I ever faced. But, dude, you had, like, we're talking Sunday night baseball, <laughs> afternoon game, your team's winning, you got the ninth inning, family there, punch out a few dudes, you finish the game on a strikeout, and then you get to do, like, the whole celebration, like, right out of the gates where, you know, you give Cal Raleigh the big hug, walk behind the mound, you do the jig. So, dude, talk us through it, man. How awesome was that that debut for you? Yeah, that was incredible. Um, yeah, I woke up and I was thinking like, oh, man, it'd be pretty cool to debut on Sunday Night Baseball. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and then, you know, the game the game went by and we, we were scoring runs. We got a big lead. And then, um, you know, I was kind of in the bullpen like, oh, man, like this would be a good time to debut. We were up by like, you know, 11 or 12 or whatever. Um, <laughs> and the, the, the bullpen catcher kept telling me like, stay locked in. Like this is, you know, if they're going to put you in, like this is a really good spot. So, you know, I just stayed locked in, did my routine. And, yeah, that was that was it was a ton of fun. Were you like at what point in the game you like okay man this is it this this is the day like was it like the we talking like when the team started putting up a bunch of runs like middle of the game like okay for sure I'm pitching today yeah never it was never like a for sure but about the <laughs> sixth or seventh inning I was thinking like oh man if we're you know if if this holds like I I got a pretty good shot of going in this game because <laughs> uh, I remember I so I got called up and I went up for three days right and again we haven't met. Probably don't even know who I am, but basically, yeah, you know, come over from a no name from Australia, get called up to the big leagues, and I go up for three days. We're playing the Yankees. I don't pitch, and there's a couple like not blowouts, but there's like some some sizable leads. I'm like, for sure they're going to put me in. I don't pitch. I end up getting optioned back down, and I'm thinking to myself, for sure that's my story, man. Like I'm going to go up to the big leagues for three days, never pitch, and tell kids when I'm like. My age, I'm 41 years old now. I'm going to tell kids, yeah, I played in the big leagues. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> so I thought for sure that was going to be my... And then so it took me like three weeks. And then the first day I was back up, I mean, we were getting destroyed. And I got a chance to pitch. But I remember warming up and just like in that bullpen, same, same spot you were at at T-Mobile. And like for me, I don't know how it was for you, but I'm warming up. I felt like I hadn't thrown a baseball in like a month like it, it, the ball was coming out of my hand funny i couldn't throw a strike in the bullpen was any of that for you or were you just like oh man this is i'm just gonna absolutely destroy here when i go in uh a little bit i mean the my first few warm pitches weren't great uh and then our bullpen coach was like relax and then i threw a couple good ones and i was like <laughs> okay i can do this like i remember how to throw um right. and then yeah it's, i got warm pretty quick um i probably threw too many pitches but that's fine in the bullpen you know that i have that nervous energy Right. Um, and then I went out there, and I don't really remember the run too much. Um, but then I remember warming up, and and um, yeah, when I got the ball back for the first hitter, I was like, "Oh my god, this is crazy!" Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And and you know, it's funny too, man, because like you mentioned warming up too much. I remember when because I was in the bullpen, I'd throw way too much before games, and then all of a sudden I started having a little bit of success, and they're like. Hey, man, you got to be ready to go tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Because tell me this, dude. I don't know how it is for you now, but in, in AA, are they like – you're not going like back-to-back-to-back, to back to back, right? Are you doing any back-to-backs in AA? No, I didn't do any back-to-backs. They, they usually give you a day off. Um, right. You're supposed to do back-to-backs before you, before you come out to be ready, but it just didn't it just didn't work out like that. But, um, you know, I, I'm fairly new to pitching, so I always felt like – even if they if they wanted me to go back to backs, I mean my arm felt good, so I, I don't really foresee it being an issue. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, the minor leagues they they kind of give you your, your rest days. Yeah, you did. You got to the big leagues quick, man. I mean, it only took a couple of years. Like, <laughs> and, and you said you knew the pitching. So talk us through that. Like, so you you were an infielder before that. Now, uh, by the way, I saw this play you made when you're in Everett off the mound barehanded. There's no <laughs> no way I'm making that play at all. I was worst off the mound. But t- talk us through that. What, so what, what went down there? How, when did you make that transition to pitch or you were two-way going into, into school? What, what happened there? Yeah, so I was, a, I was a hitter only in high school. And then my senior year, I just kind of like got off the mound and I was throwing hard. Um, so then I just closed games through fastballs right down the middle. And then when I went to I went to Long Beach State my first year I I two weighed and then they transitioned me to a pitcher uh, about January, yeah about January, gotcha. and then um, 
and then I went to Cyprus after that, and then that was when I started full time pitching. And then I went to UC Irvine, and then I got drafted. So, so you went to Long Beach, and then what did you did you get cut? Or they're like, hey, listen, like yeah, I got just, cut. Okay, <laughs> and then down to Juco, yeah, yeah, dude, hey, man, I, I I help out like a bunch of Aussie kids come over and do it's the same thing. Like they come over first year, there's just they've just committed to too many dudes. And then uh -huh. they go back to the to, to Juco. Well, dude, it worked out, man. I mean, yeah. wow. Do you do you keep in touch? Like, is there any hard feelings with with you and Long Beach? No, not really. But I, I still have uh, buddies there from from the freshman class. Um, but I only talk to probably a couple of them. Right. Do you? Is there any? Um, and again, dude, I can say this now because you're a big leaguer now, dude. Like, you just, you know, you came up, had a memorable debut, national TV, by the way. Um, yeah. Is there, have you ever ran into any of the coaches who did cut you or any of that? Uh, after all, like, not uh, obviously not after you debut, but after you get drafted and you have a bit of success and you are a success story. Yeah, uh, we, we played them. When I went to Irvine, we were in the same conference, so we played them. Um, oh. But other than that, no. <laughs> How'd you do when you played against them? Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. So you're very reserved now. I was like, I got, I got taught, like, you know, I mean, there's a million times for me where like, uh, and I'm not saying I had some sparkling 20 year career in the show, like a lot of regrets, but there was times throughout my career, everyone just said, oh, you know, look, he's too fat and lazy or doesn't throw <laughs> hard enough or beat it. And then it's the best. Dude. You get a chance to play against them. Like I got not not that I had hard feelings against the Twins, but I was a um, big league Rule Five pick, which is just a mess. Yeah. You go over there. I got no shot of making the team at all. I'm 21 years old. Like I just knew it. And then yeah. I felt like it, the way they talked about me was just like, ah, oh, this guy kind of, you know, we made a mistake here. This guy sucks. That was not that they were saying that directly to me. It was uh -huh. just that 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 feeling. I gave back to Seattle, and then a couple of years later, I'm, I remember pitching against them. I just had that chip on my shoulder, dude. I was just like, oh, I just want to just shove here. And I, yeah. I pitch pretty good. I pitch, I always pitch well when I did that. But it's always nice, man. Do you get motivated by, you know, like setbacks like that? Like if it, <clears throat> I don't know if it's more than just that one where, where Long Beach cut you and and you know you have to go to a, to a um, you know to a JUCO. Do you, is this do things like that? Is that what motivates you, or, or are you different? No, yeah, absolutely. The the you know the people who doubt me or, or the setbacks um, definitely you know give me a chip on my shoulder and and tend to push me in the right direction. Um, so yeah, I would say that definitely motivates me. Yeah, because <clears throat> I mean, for most people, I feel like it does, right? Uh, the one dude I remember a couple of years back. This is right after COVID. I had Max Scherzer came on this show, mm -hmm. and I tried to bring that up to him because I remember he was with the um, he was with the D backs. And they got rid of. They said, "Oh, he, you, he'll just—he's mechanically, he's flawed. He won't throw enough strikes. He'll get injured. This and that." And I asked him. I said, and I was like leading into the same question, like, you know, do the setbacks like—is that what motivates you? He's like, "No." And I get caught up in that. I was like, "Oh God, let <laughs> balloon." All right, let's move on. He was like, "I was like, all right, fair enough." But um, <clears throat> was that was was Long Beach when you were coming out of high school? I know you're a Southern California guy. Was Long Beach that place? You're like, "Oh, I this is where I really want to go to." Yeah, they were my only uh, Division One offer. Um, oh no way! High school, okay. so um, so yeah, there was not a ton of choice. But uh, I grew up a you know I grew up an Angel fan, so um, you know uh, we, we either went there, um, which was cool. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, I, I mean it was always a place that um, that I wanted to go to, and and coming out of my area, that's kind of one of like the Hobbit Hobbit schools, um, one of the schools that that a lot of uh, Southern California baseball players want to go to. So it was cool. Right. It was cool. Yeah, um, you. So you 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 a big Jared Weaver fan? Or we talking? Yeah. These, did Jeff did Jeff Weaver go there too, or just Jared Weaver? I think just Jared. I think just Jared. That's right. Yeah, I, I did. I, man, I played. That's that's who I played against. We're in the same division. Oh, yeah. dude, he was so good, man. Yeah. And he, even when he started throwing like way slower, he was still dominating. Still good. Man. Yeah. Oh, he was so good. So so okay, I was going to ask you this because you guys go, you play the Dodgers coming up. Um, so you're not not a Dodgers fan. Playing in Dodgers Stadium doesn't do anything for you. It's more at the Angels. I mean, it'll it'll do something for me for sure. But uh, <laughs> um, no, I grew I grew up an Angels fan. Um, but my my grandma and my my mom are huge Dodger fans. So I I went to no way, way more Dodger games growing up than Angel games. Oh, dude, yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna have quite the pass list, man. At, at yeah, Dodgers Stadium, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. What? Okay. So g going back to high school. So, how much did you pitch in in high school? 
Like are we talking um, a lot, or was it just occasionally? No, I probably threw like ten innings my senior year. Okay. Yeah. And how hard are we talking? Like how how hard are we throwing in high school? I mean, hard for high school, but not. I mean, 80, 89, 92 maybe. No, yeah, that's, that's, crazy, dude, that's but, gas. My yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> I did have who was it? I had someone on this show uh, recently. I think maybe Bryce Miller. He's like, yeah, I was touching. I think it's like touching ninety five here, and I'm like, what? Like it's insane, <laughs> dude. Because I was showing like I was like mid eighties at best. I mean, mind you, this is back way back yeah. in the day. The times are different. And then, so so you're from you know ninety ninety twos when you're just throwing. And by the way, you know how dare you, dude? You barely even pitch, and you're still pumping gas. I, <laughs> that just yeah, it just drives 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 me nuts. So <laughs> when when was it where the velocity started to really pick up? Uh, for you it was it in college uh yeah in college so the um um the summer going into my junior college year um i really got in the weight room that was that was during covid so there's no plan okay. um no nothing so i got in the weight room gained probably 20 25 pounds um you know worked on mechanics started doing a throwing program like a pitcher because uh, right. I never really done one of those, and then that was when it kind of ticked up. That was that, and then I went from like ninety three to ninety five, and then uh, when I went to Irvine, I gained another one. Like I was like ninety four, ninety six, and then so it's right. it's then now I'm you know six to six to eight, touching nines. Um, so it's kind of ticked up every year. I think just based on you know pitching more, getting older, um, you know getting stronger, getting more flexible understanding yeah. myself on the mound like i'm it's a lot of different factors that that kind of go into that was there like a you know like a pitching coach is like hey look we're going to do this program that got you over a certain hump in regards to like wow i just went from throwing 94s 95 sorry like 92s 93s now all of a sudden i'm yeah up, up mid to upper 90s was was there like a program or something or, or something you took on or is it just a gradual um, there was, I mean, there's, I had, I had pitching coaches that helped me. Um, I worked out at, at Iron Spikes, uh, this place in Upland, California during COVID. And then, um, when I went to Irvine, I started working with, um, this pitching coach named, uh, uh Brian Bass, um, yeah. which kind of helped me, but it was more of a, it was more of a, like, you can do it. Let's see how consistently you can do it and how well I can move to, you know, put less stress on my arm and, and just stay healthy and throw more strikes. Right. right gotcha. Because you made a comment about your um, you know, slider slash sweeper modeling that after you know, Matt Brash. Was that, when you say that, is that something when you watch him on TV, like, oh man, I want it to look like that? Or is that like diving into the weeds where it's like, okay, here's the grip. I'm, I'm sitting there with Matt Brash, even in spring training. Or like, t t talk us through the process of that. Yeah, a little bit of both, I'd say. I mean, you see it on TV, you're like, wow, I want to throw that. That's absolutely disgusting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but the the Mariners, um, you know, they they taught me the grip and kind of the cues that he uses. And I've I talked to him uh, the other day. Um, you know, it's yeah, it's like I, so I'd say it's a little bit of both. Um, yeah, I I mean I use the same grip and then um, the the cues are kind of the same. Um, but I, it's it doesn't move like his. This is insane. But it's kind of the same. You know, I want to get to there. How, how hard is that, man? Because people are under the assumption that like. Oh yeah, you just get the grip and and you get you tell them to do this and that. You throw it five or six times and then you start to. It's not that easy, right? Like, to, and again, not saying that, that you're expected to throw it like his because everyone's yeah. different. Everyone moves different. But how hard is that, dude? Like when when you have you know, you're, let's say you're you know fastball sinker and then and then you throw a slider and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, I'm going to change the grip here. And I'm talking, you're going to go out and compete against whether it's double AA, A, triple A. These are some of the best hitters on the planet. Um, and, and you, you, the, the hard thing is if you go down that path, well, then all of a sudden, if, if it sucks, you've just wasted all this time, you know, with this different grip, how hard is that to, to, to switch it? Or is it something for you? You're like, Oh man, okay. Whoops. I didn't know this grip existed. And then zap two pitches later. There it was. <laughs> no, it was, it was difficult. It was, it was a, a lot of, you know, trying different things, especially in, in low a, um, last year I was switching grips a lot. Uh, and it, it was getting right. frustrating because, some some outings I'd go out there with a new grip they wanted me to try and I was like I don't really know what this is going to do so then I wasn't locating it well yeah. um, but then towards the end of last year into the fall league and this year um, you know I really honed in the grip that I that I currently have and then just throwing it more um, I'm commanding it better uh, right. just because I'm getting more more reps with with the same you know the same grip the same cues the same ideas gotcha. um, so yeah it was it was it was difficult last year but then at 
towards the end, uh, we kind of found one that worked that I can do consistently, and I just stuck with it. Was this your Was this your first year in big league camp? I wasn't in big league camp. Are oh, you weren't in? Oh, dude, no. let's rephrase that. Then you weren't even in big league camp. I love it. That's great. <laughs> So okay, so you're not even in big league camp. Did you feel like were you were you expecting to go to, to, go to big league camp this year? Um, I, I mean, not kind of, not really. It was you know the, it was it was kind of early. Um, they told me that I probably wasn't going to be in big league camp, but I did. I pitched in a lot of big league games. I would I would back right. them up, and then um, sometimes like especially in the beginning of spring training when not everybody's built up, um, there's the like eighth and ninth inning they're kind of open. Um, during the game so I threw I threw in a lot of those I probably threw like in like eight or nine big league games um, even though I wasn't in big league camp how'd you do good good yeah um, yeah I was talking talking to Skip the other day uh, when I was introducing myself when I when I got here and he was like yeah you opened some eyes um, during spring training I was throwing throwing hard throwing good stuff and and most importantly throwing strikes so yeah, man. So you weren't even in camp, and and the reason I, you know, I, I get it. I mean, times are different now. I get. I always try and compare it to, you know, back when I played. I feel like it was so long ago. But like I remember, like you just, uh, it, it, for me, like the latter part of my career, it's like okay, I'm I'm going to sign with this team, have to be in camp, have to stick around as long as possible, just to have conversations, just to have like a chat with Pete Woodworth, the pitching coach, or yeah. you know, whatever, and. Like it, just to get that track man thrown up in front of me when I'm throwing a bullpen, so they can say, "Whoa, look at look at the sink, look at the run on this pitch, or whatever it may be." To open eyes that way, but if you, if you're in minor league camp, yeah, sure. Like people get reports, but in in regards to like trusting to bring you up, because you're coming up, dude. I keep going back to your debut, but you're coming up, dude. Like the team's in first place. Like yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's not like you, you come up in a rebuild or. It's September and they're bringing, they, you know, like back in the day, they used to just call up a bunch of dudes and you just, they just slot you in to fill, you know, fill innings. You're coming up in a pretty significant spot. So like that's the fact you weren't even in camp is so awesome because <laughs> you, I mean, you must've been, and I know you were dominating too. I, I looked at your numbers in, in, in double A, but for that to happen, because usually it's something where like that last thing is like, all right, who are we calling up here? Who are we bringing up? And Scott Service and, and the whole front office will sit around and go, hey, what about these names? And, and, and Service or you know, Woody's like, oh, yeah, hey, I remember when I was doing a bullpen session with this huh? kid, so on and so forth. But, I mean, it makes it that much tougher, man. And, and that just speaks volumes to what you were doing that, in AA for them to say, yeah, this right. is our guy to come up. You know what I mean? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely, definitely a blessing. No, it, it's awesome, dude. So, well, okay. I'm going to do this. Now, usually I do the Australian word of the day, uh, how to speak Australian. I might do that in a, in a minute. If you don't if you don't realize this, I am from Australia. So, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm going to go through, look, look, Troy, I need to go through your Instagram account. I love doing this because, you know, all you guys now, you all have this social media. By the way, dude, I'm going to scroll, and scroll through it and feel free to look at your phone here. But okay. you put up these, the, the Mariners, they obviously give you these photos, these okay. images, right? Right away. Uh, these yeah. videos yeah because i mean you literally put this up like i mean this is like right after your debut there's a nice picture of you were in the city connect jersey oh now, yeah another, and you then know. you got a video of you punching out who was that you just punched out your first who was your first strike out who was that i don't know i haven't looked at the box score yet <laughs> it was black <laughs> I, I blacked out on the i'll look at it but yeah i was i you was blacked out i love it yeah I I mean, it, who was that but yeah those I mean, are just uh they just like they just like send you like a request to to be a contributor on the post, so it's easy. Nice. I just click that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking at this now. It's got M's player development. Who else? Yeah. Barons. Yeah. Yeah. They oh, just so send you just click. Re- I was like, man, dude, you have like, what have you edited this already? <laughs> yeah. No. No. I haven't, I haven't posted anything from just me yet. Um, gotcha. I was getting. Yeah. I was. I was bombarded with, with text and everything yesterday which was super cool i spent like two hours on the flight texting people back that's but, awesome uh, yeah <laughs> hey dude that's another thing i forgot to make you you go from i'll get back to this instagram in a second but you you had your debut and then all of a sudden you're getting you know you, you're getting out of the shower coming out you're talking to the media boom you're right on a big league chartered flight too i mean yes. like that's another cool thing about your debut how, how cool was that first i always bring this up and, and you can downplay it if you want i don't care but for me it was like dude getting on that first plane i'm like this is not Southwest. Um, this is not Southwest Section yeah. C, mate. This is so yeah. good. Bus pulls right out next to the plane. You get yeah. out. You kind of. Um, do you still do? You, do the young guys still go to the back of the line getting on the plane or what? 
Uh, no, I was kind of in the middle, but I had the job. I had to get the speaker and the, and the beers. I had I had some jobs okay. I needed to do. Gotcha. Um, so you got so you got your job. So hey, like I keep bringing back to my day back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, dude. You had to be you had to wait on the bus for all the the, the pro guys to get on. Then all the scrubs got on at the, at the end. That was me. Yeah, yeah. I, I was uh, I was asking a lot of questions yesterday because it's obviously my first time. But the guys were were helping me out, which was cool. Who, who's um, you go to? Like who are the guys you ask questions to? Uh, I've been going to, uh, Snyder a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, he's been helping me out a lot. Uh, <laughs> I'm locker mates with sauce. So he was helping okay. me out no, a he's, lot. He's been on uh, the show. Yeah. I was playing catch with, uh, uh, JT, uh, Shargo, So, okay. um, yeah, it was, they're, they're, the, the bullpen's been, been, been really helpful, which I appreciate because, right, right. um, <laughs> I don't know anything. I'm screwed. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I had a guy who had been in the big leagues for a long time. That he was like, if I had a serious question, I'd go to him. But all the all the all the muppet questions, all the dumb questions. I like, hey, where do I stand when I get on the bus? Yeah, that was a couple of, of my dude, like the dudes who had just gotten up like a couple months before me. All right, yeah. so let, let's let's keep flicking through this. So, okay. all right, so is it is this your girlfriend? Um, yes. Yeah. Five yeah. years. Okay. Uh, six no. years. Six years now. Six years. There you go. Yeah. Okay, this is a little bit dated. This post. Okay. Um, what have we got? We've got uh, some uh, stuff from the Frogs Unis, Everett Aqua Sox. Big shout out to them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by the way, I was an Everett Aqua. Oh, by the way, I got a, I got a bobblehead of me being Everett Aqua Sox. Um, oh, nice. Bobblehead. Big shout out to the, the Sox, man. Good, good times. All right. Now, I've got to ask you this. I've got this post. Now, again, this is how many years ago was this? Let me just make sure. This is 2022, a couple of years ago. You working out, shirt off. Dude, you're shredded. <laughs> Are you still this shredded or what? Uh, yeah, I try to be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I try to be, but, uh, I know that was like peak, peak off season. Um, so right. yeah, I was, I'm a little more shredded than that. I was than I am right now. Oh, so this, this is iron spikes, this place you, you train at. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the place okay. I've, I was, I've went to since I was like uh, 13. Is this all, is this just, this is just baseball? Uh yeah yeah it's a baseball baseball gym they got batting cages and and everything in there okay I'm seeing the batting cage I just saw I thought I saw like an MMA <laughs> octagon no 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 just fences. baseball <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome um awesome and this is 2022 so where were you at off season 2022 when this was happening were you in pro uh, ball was right were you in pro ball at this point yeah yeah that was right before the draft because the way the draft is now oh. uh, there's like a little there's like a month between the end of the college season and then the the draft gotcha a little bit so more is this month. Is this like, are you doing, the, does this help your draft stock looking like that in the gym or what? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's awesome. Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? I mean, you're in the, you're in the show. It's freaking awesome. Hey, what, when, where were you when, I got to ask you this too. I forgot to ask you earlier. Where were you when um, they told you you're going to the big leagues? Oh, uh, they told me in the office. So I, I just finished uh, a lift and I was doing arm care. And Michael Peoples, our, our double-A coach, was like, hey, do you want to come uh, talk about your slider shape? And I was like, that's weird because he never wants to talk about it. Um, right. And I was like, okay. And then they brought me in, and they were telling me, they're like, they're like yeah, it was good yesterday. Um, you know, you need to just keep that same intensity and everything when you're pitching the big leagues tomorrow. I'm like, right. what? <laughs> it was, <laughs> yeah. And it, yeah, it, awesome. kinda, it caught me by surprise. It was cool. Yeah, it was our, uh, awesome. it was our double-A coach. Our double-A manager, our double-A pitching coach, and then um, my pitching coordinator was in town, the minor league pitching coordinator, so he got to be there too, which was cool. That is so cool, man. And then for, who, who was the first person you called when you found out? Uh, my dad, yeah. Your dad, okay. Yeah, my awesome. dad, my mom, and then uh, I called my girlfriend. Okay. And then I called so, uh, one of my, my, my best friend growing up because um, I told him that I'd call him. <laughs> 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 nice. What, what, you, your girlfriend was there because I saw you go on the field. Um, yeah. Your debut day, right? Was your, She was there. Okay. So who's in the blue hat? Just, just so I'm walking through this picture here. I'm back on the ground, by the way. Okay. Who, who's in the white <laughs> hat? Um, clapping. And then I've got someone in a blue hat with a black hoodie. Who, who's this? Um, let's see. Oh, my dad's in the blue hat. Uh, I don't. That, that's just a fan in the white hat. That's my grandma right <laughs> next. <to me. laughs> And oh, then, so the dude, uh, hold on so the dude in the white hat it, it's just that's just no one you don't know him yeah it's just a just a fan i don't, I don't oh, know who that nice. is and then um yeah my my best friend is in the black hat and then my other buddy uh is next to him and then my that's girlfriend awesome. is behind them 
Yeah. Oh, look at look at that. I mean, that fan must have been like, oh, this is awesome. What a, what a day for <laughs> yeah. me, hanging out. When I'm with um, I'm with Taylor's family and he's yeah. making his <laughs> debut. That's so cool, man. That is awesome. All right, Troy. So I've grilled you on your Instagram. I've had a nice little stalk, little look through here. Ask you ask your kinds of questions on some of these posts. Now, more importantly, have you ever been to Australia? No, no, I haven't. But you've been around some Australians. You, you Blake Townsend, who was with uh, the Aqua Sox. You, yeah. you were buddies with him, right? So yeah. hopefully, he, hopefully he hasn't dropped one of these on you. You're like, what, what does that mean? So <laughs> ho hopefully I can stump you here because this is how it works. This is the How to Speak Australian segment brought to you by Kangaroo and Kiwi. So I'm going to give you a word. I'll give you a sentence as well. You have to guess it. Now, if you don't guess it, I'm not going to give you the answer until after we get off because it gives a chance for people on social media who are watching this to go to social media, get it at the Top Step TV, and they can try and answer correctly, win some prizes. If they get a hash, you got to put hashtag TTS mate for it to count. All right, so Troy, you are you ready? I'm ready. All right, the How to Speak Australian word this week, brought to you by the Kangaroo and Kiwi, is bugged. You know what bugged means? Bugged. Do you want me to spell right. it for you? Yeah. Okay, there, there may be some different ways to spell it, but it's spelled B-U-G-G-E-R-E-D, buggered. Yeah, I'll, I'll do an American accent, buggered. Okay. What do you got? Okay, uh, well, I know that Blake said that you guys call shopping carts buggies, but... Oh, uh, maybe that maybe that's a Melbourne thing. I know where I'm oh. from. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe not. Uh, I'm just going to go with, like, annoyed. Like, you, like... Not like, bad. Yeah, like... Not um, bad. Like you're close. somebody. That's not it. It's close. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a sentence, but I'm going to give it away. Now, if you get it, well, then the game's over for all our friends <laughs> on social media. But, man, oh, I, got, I had a long flight into Detroit on my first road trip. I was sitting up all day, all night on that chartered flight, having a blast, and now I'm absolutely buggered. What does that mean? Oh, uh, okay. So, like, it's, like you're tired? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go. all right. I gave that away. I get. By the way, because you because you're a rookie, I gave that. I I, I made it, it made it easy for yeah, you. Yeah, I appreciate right, it. So. I appreciate it. Plus, plus you, you're on an off day today, and you have to go buy some new shoes. Apparently, too many pairs of Vans. That Southern. <laughs> you've got that that LA that Southern California look yeah. to you, and you've been told you've been told no more Vans. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what yeah, I hear? Yeah. Uh, I gotta gotta get some nicer shoes now that I'm now that I'm making um you know big league money. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, uh, but the big leagues now is all laid back to back. You know, back in my day, I keep going back to when I played back back in the old school days. I feel like a dinosaur now. But did we have to wear like suits on the plane? It was uncomfortable. Are you guys still? You guys aren't wearing suits, right? You're wearing comfortable clothes, right? Yeah. No, they gave us uh, like Lulu track suits. They're they're really oh, nice. Um, big league, dude. Yes. Yes. That's so unreal. there's that, and then um, they they said one day it's just like polos. No, no, like no, like you know, straight suit or nothing. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, it's it's a little more laid back, which is cool. But, but you, you you can't wear the Vans with the Lulu tracksuit. Or you can't. No. You just can't rock well, up. Oh yeah, I did. I did it. yesterday. I did yesterday. They don't care with the with the tracksuit. <laughs> um, but yeah, with the with the polo and the and the dress pants um, or golf pants, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get something something a little nicer. <laughs> nice. There you go. Well, listen, man, I'll let you go. Go, go, hit it up, and go, go get some. Go spend all that big league money. No, don't spend all that big league money. Go, go put it away. Go, Thank go you. be Appreciate smart. It. It, yeah, awesome. Well, Troy, listen, man, I, I look forward to meeting you in person once you're back in town. But, uh, dude, first of all, congrats on a legendary debut. You'll never forget it. I mean, Sunday Thank night you. baseball, everything else. Got on that big league jet right after it. And welcome to Seattle, dude. I know a lot of people are excited to see you, man. Thank you. I Appreciate it.